Today, we're visiting with Dr. Bohm Harris, doctor of veterinary medicine on a Virginia beef cattle farm in Goochland County. Join us as Dr. Harris shares how veterinarians and farmers work together to care for cattle. I originally developed an interest in veterinary medicine because I was interested in medicine and science and I wished to work more in the context of animals and human caretakers of animals. While in vet school, I found that what I enjoyed the most was working with farmers. Farmers call veterinarians for a range of issues. Some have a very close relationship with their veterinarian and have us out routinely to the farm to assist them with husbandry, as well as pregnancy checking and preventive care, make sure that they have a good plan in place for their nutrition and medicine throughout the year. Farmers are special to me because there is no day off when you're a farmer. Your animals are fed before you open your Christmas presents. There's no snow days, so you have to go out and make sure they have water and that they have shelter and it makes my work very meaningful to be able to help them do what they do. It's very important for people to understand how hard farmers are working to provide a safe and plentiful and affordable food supply. It's the people that I really find amazing to work with, helping the people who feed our country make their own living and take care of their animals. When I say production animals, I'm talking about animals that produce something for us, such as meat or milk or fiber. When we say the word cow, we mean an adult female bovine animal. An adult male is what we would call a bull, and a female who has not yet had a calf is called a heifer. A calf is a baby cow. A steer is a male who has been fixed so that he cannot have babies. A cow typically only has one calf, that's what she's programmed to do. Once a cow has her calf, she turns around and licks it and knows that calf's taste and smell and will be very protective of that calf in particular. Animal husbandry is the process of caring for your animals. Whether they are production animals or pets, when a person owns an animal, it is their responsibility to ensure that they have proper food, proper shelter, and that they are protected from predators, that they are able to engage in activities that are normal for that animal. In the context of beef cattle, what they need is protection from wind and extreme weather. They need hay when the grass isn't growing or other supplemental feeds if hay is not available. And they need proper fencing. Feeding and providing adequate water are the daily parts that farmers have to engage in at all times. Most beef cattle live out on pasture. Most calves live out on pasture. Cows do not need to live in a barn at all times. Their comfortable temperature is about 60 degrees with no humidity. All cows produce milk because they're mammals, but we have different breeds of cows that produce more milk than others. Most beef cows produce enough milk for their calf, but no more than that. The most common breed of beef cow in the U.S. is the Angus breed, which is a polled breed, which means neither the bulls nor the cows have horns. If they are a breed that has horns, both males and females have horns. I'm here today to give vaccines and make sure everyone is healthy. These calves are calves that were born about five or six months ago. They've already been through the chute for their first round of vaccines, and this is their second visit with the vet for their second of three rounds of vaccines. The cows today are going to be pregnancy checked, so I use an ultrasound and a palpation sleeve and stick my arm inside the cow to detect whether she's pregnant or not. I'll be checking anything from 28-day pregnancies up to 90-day pregnancies. The cows that are 90 days pregnant have a baby about this big inside them. The cows that are 28 days pregnant have a baby about the size of a jelly bean inside them. The best way to learn about agriculture and where your food, fiber, comes from is to go to a farm and talk to a farmer. This visit with Dr. Harris was sponsored by the Virginia Beef Council in partnership with Virginia Agriculture in the Classroom. To learn more, visit us at aginthclass.org.